<laughs> well, what's going on everybody? Frankie Slauson here for another great episode of Around the Town of Frankie Slauson. And I want to thank everybody for uh, tuning in to these videos and commenting and subscribing and hopefully we'll get a big subscriber uh, list going on here. But uh, I figure it's time to make a new episode and instead of always focusing the episode, you know, my vids on my job site, although you probably will see a little scenes of it a little later, I figured the first part of this uh, vid would be about me going down to, uh, well, I was going to show you guys a little bit of the river walk, and I was going to go down to the uh, post office in town and uh, pretty much uh, go ahead and, uh, since I'm moving into that new apartment, apartment 225 here uh, next or actually this coming Monday I figure I'd uh, go down to the post office and get a moving slip. I packed up a little bit so it looks kind of bare in the apartment but uh, I can't wait to show you guys the brand new apartment. Uh, I'll be in the next vid. It won't be in this part or the next part or the part after that but it'll be in the next episode. But uh, so anyway We'll talk to you here. I'll show you more video here of when I get closer to the river walk and then uh, to the post office. And I was gonna go visit my grandpa Bushy today too, so you'll probably see him on video as well. So a lot of stuff going on today on this week's episode of Around the Town, Frankie Slauson. Alrighty here, ladies and gentlemen. Back with you here with more Around the Town, Frankie Slauson. And we're at the uh, start of the river walk, as you can see, a little trail here. But see, one thing I like about living over here at Thief River is, you know, I live real close to the river over here. And it's, it's all right, you know, it's, ooh, look at that. Somebody uh, dropped a fish over here. Look at that, huh? Somebody forgot to bring their fish home. Anyway, I figure since I, I've been meaning to come down here for a long, long time, I just never have until now, or at least do this while this thing's still up. This is a, a dock that everybody comes in, around town here comes and fishes in. It kind of reminds me, you know, of like Lake Bronson and, and uh, Old Mill State Park and whatnot. It's actually quite nice. And I gotta admit, this is <laughs> actually my first time ever on here, so. You know, this is like totally new to me, but you know, it's kind of a nice place to hang out with your buddies or whatever and go out here and catch some fish, I guess, you know, and that's what a lot of people do anyway. Go here and catch some fish. It's really beautiful around here, especially when it gets really nice. Like today, you know, it's only like 60, 60 degrees outside, so it ain't that warm, but it ain't that cool either, so it's actually perfect. It's just right for a day like today to make a vid video or whatnot. And, but this is the dock, you know, it's very nice. They've, used, they've had this dock here for quite a while, but at, during the winter time or when it gets close to the winter, like another month from now in October or November, once it gets cold outside, then they will, uh, then they will actually take this off, unhook it from, I think, from the top over here, I think, from way over there anyway, where the cement thing is, and, uh, they will unhook it and then they'll put it somewhere. I don't know where the DNR keeps it, but uh, they put it somewhere anyway. And then in the springtime or whatnot, they'll put it back for the old spring fishing season again. But And then, of course, you know, you'll see in the wintertime a lot of people uh, ice fish out here too when it gets so cold and whatnot. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty amazing, but I don't know. It ain't too bad, I don't think, you know, I mean, it's, it's a nice river, you know, so, anyway, we'll see you here in just a little bit, for more Around the Town, Frank Slauson. Alright, everybody, I walk back, Around the Town, Frank Slauson, and here, right here, you're wondering, kind of the main drag of Thief River, you know, and the, the highway, Highway above byways here. It gets pretty busy because right now it's like during the rush hour where all the cars come and go and they 
either are coming or either are going, you know. People getting done with work. I'm just waiting across the street. Okay? But, uh, pretty amazing. I mean, you know, you want action? Well, here you go. <laughs> All these people, all these vehicles coming by. And they're probably wondering, what the hell is this guy taking a picture with? Me? Oh well, they'll, they'll figure it out when they're on YouTube. Yeah. They'll, they'll figure it out. Anyway, I'm ready to cross the, the road here as soon as there's an opening. It looks like there might be. Or there might not be. We'll see here. I thought there was going to be. Thought there was going to be, but I guess maybe not. This guy right here on the phone. Let's see if I can get by anyway. Let's see if I can quickly crash. Or maybe not. Shit. Oh, that guy did. <laughs> ah, shit, huh? It looks like there's a train coming, so maybe I might have a chance. I hear it. I hear it. I'm gonna go after this one here. Ah, shit. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Ah. Ah, made it. Made it, made it, made it. Anyway, I'll show you the hiking trail here. Or actually, it's not the hiking trail. I, I'm sorry, it's the river walk. That's what it is. It looks like the train's coming. That's what it looks like as the thing goes down. It's pretty loud, huh? Let's see if we can get a shot. Coming back. There we go. There it is. Oh, yeah. That's the train, everybody. I'll show you more of the river walk right after this. Well, first of all, here's part of the river walk. Here, here's one of the nicest things about the river walk. This is a fountain. I'm sure a lot of people have a have something like this in their town. You know, for a small for a small town like East River, I think it's pretty neat. You know, to have a little fountain like this, and people can come down. I think they can put pennies in. I think almost treat it like a. I almost feel like a, yeah, there's pennies there, you can see a little bit. Almost treat it like a witching well, kind of. But it's pretty neat. I've been down here before with a, been down here before with a buddy of mine. And, uh, with his kids and whatnot. And, yeah, we had a good time. It was pretty nice. I mean, this is part of our park here. Now, I don't, I forgot the name of this park. I don't think it's the Floyd B. Olson Park. I think that's right by across from Arby's. Uh, formerly known as Hardy's, but uh, just more scenes of the river. The people on their boat, or you know, see some people who live in town here who live on the river have enough money to where they can get themselves a, a pontoon and have it be just like right over here, have it be right down their property. You know, I think that's good. You know, but you know they have money because they got big houses over there. We do have a lot of rich people. That but oh well, you know, even us poor people have a purpose too, you know. <laughs> anyway, there's more of the train anyway, coming by. That reminds me of when I went down to Astoria, Oregon to see the, you know, went down to Astoria to see the Goonie House. And I remember we take, I took the train from Grand Forks all the way to Portland and then I had to wait for a bus uh, afterwards. But that trip to Astoria, man, I tell you, I mean, I know it was a few months ago, but those are things you just never forget, you know. And why did I get onto this subject? I have no idea. Oh yeah, I do. It's because the train was here. That's so I figured I'd tell you, I figured I'd tell you a train story. Anyway, we'll get right, we'll be right back with more around the town. Frank Slauson, right after this. Ha, look at this. Holy, holy moly, huh? Look at all this. 
imagine how much weight that is right underneath here? Right underneath the train. Imagine if this... Oh, look at this. Imagine if this were to fall right now. If something were to come loose to one night. Just imagine that. Just imagine that. More of the train here. I mean, this thing has to be really, really strong in order to hold that much weight, you know? That's crazy. I think it's slowing down now because it's, sometimes trains do that around here. They slow down. Can't really tell you why, but they just do. Whether it's a little new tracks or something or hook up to another uh, train or something. Or 